what's up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we're gonna be getting into a mukbang we're gonna do a mukbang slash story time on the time that i had corona let's get into the video i have the one and only juicy crab y'all juicy crab now i've been waiting so long to eat this like, that's what's going on down there now my lemon you cannot forget the lemon you also cannot forget the egg but guess what they did forget my egg i got my drinks i'm gonna just set this bad boy over here one thing i don't like is when i first started coming to orlando i would go to juicy crab all the time but it was a different location than the one that this one is at and the old one used to give me mad food like mad shrimp at least two clusters and like two um potatoes and maybe one corn and if you want an egg you want an egg this one gives you nothing i have like five shrimp one cluster one corn one potato don't even get an egg unless you ask they don't even offer it like that's traveling as hell y'all probably wondering by the title on how i got corona <laughs> I'm gonna be snacking too. So I don't even like snacking. <laughs> Exit the video now. In December, like the week before Christmas, no, the week of Christmas, I got sick. And my dad is the one who got me sick. My dad works in Baltimore. And I used to live in this town that was an hour and 30 minutes away from Baltimore. So he would drive there every day. That's so good. Mm. Mm. What was I saying? <laughs> he would drive there every day though. And he works with, you know, his coworkers or whatever. So he came home one day. And I'll be all up under my daddy. Like, I don't care if he's sick. I don't care if he's about to die. I'm all under him. Like, that's that's my dude. So, anyways, he was sick. So, then he passed it on to me. I thought this was like any old regular sickness, you know, cold sore or whatever. And I say cold sore. Wow. Sore throat. It's my body feeling bad. You know, everything feeling bad. So, that was normal little sickness because I had the flu before. And I had strep throat before. So I'm like, whatever. This is nothing, right? Days go out. This is still nothing. Regular sickness. Until. The cough drops wasn't working. And that medicine wasn't working, right? You never had juicy crab? You ain't lived in your life. So, none of the medicine was working. Right. So I'm like, okay, this is weird. Like, this ain't normal. Usually when you take the medicine, it works for me. And usually when I eat cough drops, it works. So y'all, I'm sick Christmas Day, sick as a dog, right? Me and my daddy, we sick and you know, Corona wasn't all, Corona was probably out, but not like out, out, like it was probably still in China or wherever else. And so no one knew of Corona, no one would think Corona, you feel me? So we thought we was just sick. And so I ate like, two bags of cough drops in a day like my throat was hurting so bad bro um i would take nyquil because i always have trouble sleeping so i don't like to stay up so i didn't take dayquil i just took nyquil so i can sleep at night and i also would buy if you have it or you know if you're sick <laughs> i would buy some apple cider um and like the little packets the packets are like this big it's in a box but i would buy that and drink it a lot because 
I think that's why I got better. Although it took like four boxes <laughs> for me to drink. I would drink it like three times a day. And I just still never felt better. But anyways, me and my dad were still sick. He was taking DayQuil. By the time that I got sick, I had just started my job. And my job, we sit and type at computers. Like we type in mail codes and scan lines. In one room, there's probably like 50 people in one room. I'm coughing. I'm talking about like, <coughs> like. We got all night to get it right. I never coughed before like that in my life. So I'm just coughing it up, right? And it's embarrassing because it's quiet. Some people got their headphones in because we can listen to music. Some people didn't have them. Some people did. And then you could also bring like a snack. My snack at that time was cough drops. I was eating cough drops. After each one of them dissolved, I never stopped. Never took a break. Ever. I'm just consistently putting that in my body. Didn't work. Worked temporarily. But I don't need temporary results. I need this to go away. I was always hot, always sleeping, trying to sleep it out. I would drink a bunch of hot stuff um, with lemon and honey. But anyway, so my dad, right? My dad finally gets over his sickness while I'm still sick. And like a month or two later, or a month and a half. I was sick for like a month and a half. Later, I get over mine. That is so good, bro. <laughs> I get over my sickness. The only thing that kept lingering was my coughing. I had all this mucus like in my throat. Like it wasn't no dry cough. Like sometimes it was a dry cough, but a lot of the times, um, I had mucus in my throat. Just too much. And I would wonder why. Eventually me and my dad both get over our sickness, right? So it's February, y'all. My uncle comes home, right? Coughing, y'all. Coughing it up. Now, he don't really get sick, okay? So, when he gets sick, he's sick. He take his meds. He take his, you know, to get better. They all got work and stuff. So, they don't... No days off. You feel me? Y'all, he comes home coughing. I'm like, stay away from me. Like, after what I just went through, I'm not trying to get sick ever again. So, you know, he do what he got to do. He take his meds. I'm talking about two days later. My daddy come home. And guess what he come home doing? Uh-huh. Coughing. My dad would be coughing. And I'm not talking about like, uh, uh every 15. He would cough every probably five minutes. Four or five minutes. So what does that tell you? Man. So. I would probably put a clip. Of them coughing. Because. Um, I would always record. My dad and my uncle coughing. Because it was. It was like. It was rare. You don't hear people coughing like that. Back to back to back. <coughs> Like germ here, germ. Here. Like I'm trying to dodge germs because I'm not trying to get sick again. So, bro, when my dad would take my uncle to work, and they would be. I would go with them, like four in the morning or five in the morning. When we would take my uncle to work, they would be both in the car coughing it up. How would you feel? If you're in a car with all the windows up, no airflow, no AC, how would you feel if you were in that car for an hour, even for five minutes? 
You will feel dirty. I feel dirty. At the end of the day, though, we never got tested. Because by the time people was getting tested, and by the time there was a test to get tested with, it was, we, we beat it. We was like, we was good. My dad is good now. He's good now. I'm good now. And yeah, my uncle's good now. My brother, my little brother is the only person who didn't catch a sickness. <laughs> but yeah, by the time there was a test and everything, we were good. And by the time that Corona came out, we were 100% sure that we had Corona. Because there's no other explanation. I just had a major YouTube scare. I thought I just recorded, or not recorded, ate this all this food and did not record my video. So I was about to have a damn heart attack. Now another thing is, every time I took the medicine, it would be worse the next morning. Every time, like I would have mad, like I would wake up coughing, choking. It was, it was almost like I was trying to fight it, but it just wasn't working. And whatever was left from the fight, like the results from the fight. Was left in my throat, and when I woke up, it was just a like a choke war. I was choking. It was it wasn't. I wasn't here for it. So, I'm pretty convinced we all had Corona. I mean, no doubt about it. And we did go to the doctor. They would have told us, and you got to go home. Or you got the flu. I don't have the flu. I had the flu before. I had the flu two years ago. I, this ain't the flu. I just kept my black butt at home. And of course, all I was doing was going to work. And my, my work is pretty isolated. We're just about six feet apart, front and back. Not much, but... I ain't never been sick in my life, ever. What's going on, God? <laughs> Am I about to die? Anyway. Stay safe. Don't be coughing on nobody. This is so good. eating bats anyway first you eating dog why are you eating dog disrespectful but bats why are you eating bats bat soup that video of the bat in the soup that bat looks scary as hell why would you eat that who in your right mind told you to eat that you eat dog you probably eat cat. I think they eat cat. Asians eat cat or Chinese. Not racist. But why'd you eat it? Anyway. I'm gonna go over here and smack on these. I got this left. And a little bit of corn. Baby, my lemon is a lemon no more because it's soaked in the sauce. But yeah, y'all, this completes the video, or concludes. This concludes. I'll see y'all next week. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button. You already know what to do. Also, um, drop down in the comment what you guys want to see from me. I have a few ideas up my sleeve, but I don't know. They're not for sure right now. So make sure you guys let me know. Make sure, make sure, make sure. You guys give me feedback on my videos so I know what you guys want to see. I know what you guys like. So stay tuned for the next video. Bye, y'all. <laughs>